Hello guys, my name is Kauton and I'm going to take you through on how to make a draw database or geological database in CPAC. So what you need first is the data sets which is uh, going to be in CSV format. So we have the assay, the assay, we have the caller and we have the survey database, uh, data set sorry. So as you can see the survey database is uh, the survey data uh, set is not uh, in CSV uh, format it's in Excel because if it's in a CSV format you see an A and if you hover your mouse it will tell you comma separated value so what you need to do is to save your data or your data like what I'm doing right now is CSV so save data type want it to be CSV comma delimited file then you save. So as you can see, it will create a CSV here, comma delimited file. So now that is done. We now have our three data set. In this case, we are going to be using uh, the survey, the assay, and the caller only. If we had the geological data set, we're going to do the same. So what you need, uh, <coughs> the first thing, your whole ID, uh, you have to write it in the same uh, manner so in this case if you check ours it's in small letters and it's the same throughout even the top uh, we are writing it is the same don't don't think, uh, mix small and uh, uh, caps uh, letters so for the caller we need the OID O path the maximum depth, the y, the x, and the z value. Then for the assay, in this case, we uh, we have the raw ID, depth from, and depth to, and the value for that uh, particular depth. So in this case, for example, from uh, zero meters to one meter, we have zero comma four grains per ton. Then from example, from two meters to four meters, we have a zero comma zero one. Now. Uh, for survey, we need the OID, the azimuth, the deep, and the depth. The X and Y are optional since we have them in the caller segment. So from here, we actually, for this uh, work, we have also the topo, uh, which was done for this area, so that we could uh, compare our callers to the topo so that we can see if they are on the correct positions. So now we open our CPAC and navigate to the uh, folder that is our uh, data set and make it our working directory then from there you go to database uh, open a new open or new database you want to create a new database so we're going to name our database through uh, DD holes you can name it whatever you want we just press apply then apply again. Then from here, a, a, a database type you want it to be accessed. Then here you might you want it to be calculated y, x, and z values. Then you press apply. So let's go back to our data sets again. On the assay, uh, the assay database, we have uh, data set. Sorry, we have the AU, which is our gold content. We have uh, the whole ID, as you can see, our whole IDs are written the same. Uh, let me open even the caller set. The whole ID is written the same. Uh, this is to avoid any errors. If you write a small letter using a small letter where there was a cap, uh, capital letter, uh, the data won't uh, tally. So make sure you write them as they are. So now we are here. So our mandatory tables are the caller, the survey, and translation. We are not having this translation. We have the caller and the survey. This one, it will create on its own. So the caller uh, and the survey are our mandatory uh, data tables that we have. So now we need to add the assay uh, as one of our optional tables. So we just write assay here. If we had a, a geological database, maybe a lithology, we are going to just say add, then write lithology again, 
these ones uh, as intervals and so forth so we don't want the lithology we just want the assay for this time then we say apply so you have a, a table like this for again for mandatory fields we have the color these are real integers the the first uh, the data types that we are having we're having the id the y the x and the z the max depth and the whole path so again we are going to check the survey in the survey we don't really need these ones the x and y again because we have them in the color so from there we can now check our assay in the assay we don't need this one so we will take it a, we are taking what we don't need we in the assay we have the depth from let's check again our assay sorry let me navigate to assay this is our assay database data set sorry so we have the depth from the depth to and the au so we, if you come here we have the depth uh, from uh, the y from we don't have the x from we don't have again we have the depth to the y2 x2 and z2 we don't have but as you can see the au fold file uh, is not a uh, field is not there so we need to edit we type it here au then we need to select the type of uh, data that we have we have uh, numbers so you can select real if it was uh, geological data again maybe the lithology we are going to uh, write the lithology here and the character here so from here we have real then uh, again uh, let me go back to the survey our deep we want it to be length of nine again length of nine here then we need it to have to, uh, to four decimal places four decimal places according to the uh, f uh, according to the data that we have then you just say apply so as you can see now we have created a database and if you can check in our uh, folder there it's now created here we can also check in the in the, the folder here you can see the database is now here so after connecting the database we now need to insert these csv files into that database so again you go back to database you go to database import data then you select that wait it for it to pair, pop up we need to create we can say data check we need to create this file this is the format file the name that is going to give us the, our, our report so we are going to say apply here then again apply here okay uh, from here it's going to ask us which uh, tables do you want to include so we don't have the translation and we don't have the uh, styles so we are going to untick these ones but these ones we have then you can say apply so we have this table that pops up so in this table we want to put and that's where we are going to put our uh, caller survey in the assay values so you need to make sure that the colors here and the data that you have are aligned so you want to start with the color for the columns so again let's go to color so we are going to put it side by side let me reduce the size of this so that we can see so for the color in uh, column number one we have the id so again this is this checks out in column number um, the y we have it in column number column number one. in column number four the x we have it in column number uh, five and the z in column number six the maximum depth is in column number three which is c then the whole path column number two so as we have done this it will give us uh it will align itself according to the numbers that we have given it here so this one we have used it we no longer need it we can just close it we say don't save now we need the survey 
we will we'll go to the survey let me drag it to the side like this so that we can see again so for survey the id is in column number one the azimuth uh, sorry the deep the depth sorry is in column number in column number four then uh, the x and y we don't need the deep is in column number three and the azimuth in column number two so we are now done with the survey now we go to assay a id again in column number one we don't have the simple id so we just untick this one a depth from uh the depth from is in this case in column number two the depth two is in column number three then the au the for the one that we had created is in column number four then you just press apply after pressing apply it will give you a table like this so these are the maximum errors allowed for you to create the database so you can choose the maximum error that you want i'm comfortable working with four with five sorry because already we have this uh, line which is our description is going to be an error when it's recorded by that uh, so we have the first one the second one being the one in the cola and the other one in the uh, survey so we have three errors already so i want uh, the other two so we are just saying if there are other two errors i'm allowing it to continue so here you go so we are now we go to cola we want to map this so you select then you select the cola field again you do the same for the survey double click do the same for the assay so if we had uh, geology again you're going to do the same like we have done then load type we want to insert and update at the same time again insert and update and insert and update sometimes you just have to update when you are installing other uh, way as we go maybe you drew more holes from here we just add them on this on these files so again we just press apply here as you can see it's now loading it will give us this uh, database manage the report that we so it will give us how many records which we have been rejected again the whole id path this one was the one which was rejected so again one record rejected 14 were written again one rejected this is the third one sorry this is this is the third one so everything looks okay here then we just close this one so let's work with our what we have this one you can now close it we no longer need it so i'm opening this so that we can see uh, sorry so that we can see this is what we having so now we can just come to the drill here and say the drill database and say apply so we don't want uh anything else we just say apply it will show us our 14 drills so we now need to check we're using our surface if they are on the correct position in uh in the correct directions this is what we are having so we managed to install the drills what is left is to put styles which is going to be our colors for the grades that you are having in the assay field uh, make sure to check on that on our on the second part of this video uh, thank you guys for watching uh, see you next time